And now we have Marion Eaton, who's kind to come to speak to, for, to us. She has been a vegan herself for over 20 years. And she started the Friend Farmed Animal Sanctuary around 15 years ago after her experiences of livestock markets. Uh, and rearing the animals, she has formed strong and unique bonds with the babies. She is here to talk to you about the unique personalities of farmed animals. Hi everyone, this is so fantastic to see you all. Um, I haven't been, as you, you know, I might as well explain in case anyone doesn't know. I broke my back earlier in the year, so that's why I'm a bit of an old lady getting up on here. Um, but uh, now I'm here, hopefully it won't fall off, <laughs> otherwise it will be uh, ambulance time. Anyway, I want to talk about the, uh, my work with the farmed animals, but um, this thing has been bugging me uh, for a couple of days, talking about what makes you the way you are um, in terms of becoming a vegan. And I was thinking, this for me started when I was about maybe four or something like that. My family are meat eaters, committed meat eaters. Um, and uh, uh, there was me going, but I, I lived in, like, in New Cross in London. I don't think I'd ever seen a farmed animal in my entire life. Um, and yet, I was going, I don't want to eat this because it's an animal and I like animals. Um, and then you go, or oh, your mum goes, of course, don't be so silly, you know, get on with it, you've got to eat it, and you eat it, and then you go, and, and then you become rather jaded by life, and years takes its toll, and, and you do actually just conform usually to, to the trend of being a meat eater, uh, and then um, you get older and you start going, you justify, and this is the point that I'm trying to make, that you justify uh, why you start when you go back to, eat, to to becoming a vegetarian and a vegan? You start wanting to justify, um, you know, for the environment and um, it, it's cruel and it's just the way they rear them, etc., etc. Now, when I was a little girl, none of that mattered. It didn't matter. All that mattered to me, because I had no comprehension of any of it, I didn't know that they took little babies away from their mums for, for me to. Have milk. I didn't know that. All I knew was that it was horrible that little babies suffered uh, and their mums suffered and it was horrible that animals, I, I could understand that they needed to be killed in order that we ate meat. And I said, well, that was an awful thing to do. And people talk about, isn't it funny? And it's this like fantastic simplicity of the animals and the kids that no, nobody's got any preconceived ideas about what they're supposed to do. So the kids are all right with the animals and the animals, the ones I, largely speaking I mean that I've hand reared myself that they don't know, they don't know what they are, as far as they're concerned we're just a big funny family that all look different, but hey you know, who cares, they can teach us a bloody lesson, let me tell you they don't want to fight each other they don't want to go, you're black, I don't like you, you've got four legs three legs, two legs, I don't like you for that, you're gay, I don't like you for that, they get on with it they rub along just fine with each other. And there's us, this little superior group of adults that go, ah, oh, but they're just silly animals, aren't they? What do they know about it? Well, you don't see no flipping wars up my place, I can tell you. And they're funny. They are funny. Some of them are horrible. I've got to tell you, they are. Don't be under any illusion that they're all sweet and nice because they're not. Um, but some of them are extremely funny. And I remember one of the very first gatherings that um, we had up at our place. And there was a lady, she may even be here now, Trudy Scrumptious. I'm sure uh, many of you will know Trudy. And she made chocolates, vegan, obviously vegan chocolates. And at the time, I had a piglet called Rachel, and uh, Rachel 
All is, I, I'm very big on making a real commitment. I think if you're not going to make a psychological commitment to an animal, then you might as well. If you're just going to shut it in a shed, little newborn baby I'm talking about, if you're going to shut it in a shed, bung a bottle in its gob a few times a day, and then just muck it out and let it have a little run round, and then expect it to be all right. <coughs> Again. Oh, no, I'm back. Um, yeah, it'll be off its rocker. You know, it's psychological torture. If they do that to people in uh, the solitary confinement, it sends them round the bend. And it's what happens to anim animals too. It sends them round the bend. Um, so, little Rachel was one of my, uh, Mark, my husband's got a, a name for them, he calls them Marion Productions, and they're all the same. They're all hand-reared, intimately connected with me, they follow me, I'm their mum, for all intents and purposes, I'm their mum, and um, quite often, if, if necessary, I'll sleep, they'll, they'll come and sleep on the bed with me, and all sorts, you know. Um, and anyway, my little Rachel, she was uh, a class Marion production and Trudy Scrumptious uh, brought her chocolates and introduced Rachel to vegan chocolate. She'd never had chocolate before. Oh boy, did she have a fan. And you know, but what was so wonderful about her, I mean, well not Trudy, although Trudy was wonderful, uh, my Rachel, was that she would go up to Trudy um, yeah, and sit like a little dog in front of Trudy and she would just uh, give her a chocolate and she finished up s sending her a box of chocolates after she went home um, for Rachel. Well, no, very expensive chocolates too. And let me tell you, that interestingly, and this is the last words I am literally winding up, um, my Rachel used to live with me in a mobile home and I fell asleep one evening and m my Rachel uh, saved me the caravan caught fire and my Rachel saved my life she woke me up and went mental until I woke up and the fire hadn't got a hold to the point there was any smoke there was just red flames licking up the walls and she made sure that I was awake to get us two out of that caravan so um, I, could, I could cry actually she makes me feel very emotional um, so yeah that's my, that's one of my animals. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye-bye.